morning and thank you for joining First Tia Cleveland's Great Gratitude and You Ninth Annual Breakfast. Okay, it's not a breakfast, it's a show. But we, we've searched long and wide and deep and covered the corners to make sure that we have a show to really highlight the impact of golf and the first tee throughout our community, throughout the world, local, near, far, and certainly wide. So thank you for joining. Thank you to our sponsors and our donors. And I am so excited to tell you that, you know, our lineup is awesome. We have Jack Nicholas as a special guest who is going to be telling you his opinion. Um, oh my God, Jack, the best golfer in the world, the six master titles, um, and the Golden Bear, living legend. Uh, so excited to have Jack. We are also as excited to have our First Tee alumni tell you the impact that our program has had in their lives and what, what is, it has done to change them and help them and support them. We believe that our program is actually life essential, especially now more than ever. Our social, emotional, and physical components are what ki kids need to build their character today. They need that outlet. They need that combined with certainly all the other wonderful essential programs. And it is so important to be able to impact more kids throughout our community. You know, we're part of a national platform of proven outcomes that shows that we increase social responsibility, grades, self-confidence, and we build character from the inside out. Yes, using a platform of golf and sometimes cooking, you'll see Zach help us with that. Um, so in, in different venues in different ways. In 2019, we had over 2,000 kids in Greater Cleveland, part of our program, six green grass course locations, 32 different elementary schools. And we delivered and partnered with community um, organizations to even help more kids in different ways. So today we ask you, as you look through this wonderful lineup that we have and listen to the impact, that you ask yourself one question. Why won't I help? Why wouldn't I want to help build the characters and build the leaders and the game changers of tomorrow? So thank you for listening. Thank you. I, I miss seeing you. Um, and I will be in touch at the end of the show. Yes, you will see some text to give notes uh, coming across. And we would appreciate your consideration. Thank you for being part of our day. Enjoy. Good morning. Thank you for spending your time today with First Tee Cleveland. As you may know, First Tee Cleveland is one of 150 chapters of First Tee across the country and around the world. And we're so proud of the impact that our chapters are having on millions of young people annually, on golf courses, in schools, and in after school locations. I'm here from headquarters to update you on two exciting things. The first is that our chapters have undergone a brand evolution this year. We took an almost 25 year old brand and revitalized it, making it more modern and relevant for the kids and families that we reach. And we came up with a new tagline, building game changers, which we think speaks to both the fact that kids are learning this great sport that we all love, but also more importantly, that they're becoming young men and women of character who are making a positive impact in their communities. The other update I have for you is that we are also revitalizing our curriculum. In 2021, we'll be excited to roll out new technologies, new ways for kids and parents and coaches to access First Tee content digitally. So stay tuned for that. At First Tee, we believe character is what you bring to everything you do, but you aren't born with it. At First Tee, we build experiences that build character. Thank you so much again for being with First Tee Cleveland this morning. Thank you for your generosity and supporting the really important and wonderful work that they're doing in Cleveland. Together, we're building game changers. For over two decades, First Tee has created experiences that build character. We believe every kid deserves to feel supported, safe to try something new, and to be prepared for what comes next. We develop their swing, but more importantly, their inner strength. 
because we know what's inside doesn't just count, it changes the game. Come join us at First Tee. And here we go, another Zoom call. <laughs> Yes, we've by this point we're all pretty used to it, aren't we? Yes, yes. But you know, it's been a quite a summer, quite a year for us. Yeah, it has. It really has. I think this summer we were at full capacity. We've had 200 kids for the summer and 100 for this fall. It's amazing. It's been very, very cool and exciting that we've been able to be at three program locations from where we started in the spring to now, it's we've finished really strong. And I know some help with videos. We had others help with in-person classes. We had coaches helping with their moral support. We've even had coaches step up and help uh, in a financial realm too. They've participated in our raffles and anything and everything we've needed done, they've been able to help us out. So it's been very cool to engage the volunteers this year. Yeah. And to think, to go from ready to knock down the walls with all of our spring programming to now having to go to a, a social distance virtual spring program. Um, I was kind of curious how that would play out, but uh, sending the emails out to over 500 families to take advantage of some really cool programs and really, really neat interactive lesson plans. That's been a big success for us. And, and it's been really neat. The participants that did feel comfortable coming to our in-person classes, how they've helped their own communities, the food drives we did with the uh, Westlake Food Pantry and University Settlement. I mean, it's been fun to help out our community during this trying time. Yeah, and I think one of the things that you you end up doing, we kind of reinvented. We, yeah. we started something new out of a blank slate. I mean, if there's ever been a time to try new things, I mean, now is it. And I, I think we've really learned a lot of really uh, very important best practices on how to keep everybody safe, trying some family-style learning opportunities. I think the more we can engage our families and our participants, I think the more buy-in we're going to get in the program and the more folks will understand exactly how we impact the lives of young people. Yeah. And I think one of the things, uh, change is, is difficult mm -hmm. and, and we have embraced the change. Uh, we have a new logo. We have yeah. a new, we have a lot of new things going on. So now's the time to do it. That's right. That's right. And I think with our, uh, late fall programs taking place now, getting kids on course with their families, providing just more outlets for kids to be outside and be around caring adults and other kids so that they can experience that social emotional learning opportunities is just very, very important. And I'm very happy that we have some of our community partners back on and some new ones at that. I think it was important for us to be leaders in our network and leaders in our community to be able to provide programs and be that sustainable force for good of, for the young people in our community. As principal of CMSD's High Tech Academy at Cuyahoga Community College, I'm thrilled to partner with First Tee Cleveland. The social, emotional, and physical learning opportunities they provide our young people are so needed in our country today. Through First Tee Cleveland, High Tech Academy students have been able to participate in their very own golf team, and it's been such a blast. But the best part, however, is our students don't have to have prior experience. Everything they need to know about the game of golf, First Tee provides all those lessons. In future semesters, we also expect for our young people to participate in First Tee Cleveland's cooking program, as well as their caddy training program. We truly do value First Tee Cleveland and our partnership that we've had over the last few years. And we so eagerly look ahead to when our students can resume programming with First Tee in person. Thank you for the continued learning opportunities and thank you for the lessons that you provide our young people each day on the golf course and off. First Tee, you guys rock. I've been a board member with the First Tee Cleveland for seven years. I have served as the board chair for roughly the past two. And there's one experience that really stands out for me personally and has had a deep impact on me personally relative to the First Tee Cleveland. I was fortunate enough to go out and golf with several participants and one of our coaches. It happened to be a group of young ladies. And during the round, one of the participants, she was a uh, setting her putt up, she was reading the putt, and one of her peers, another girl that was in our, our group, stepped in and said, hey, can, can I help you with that? And the participant was glad to take the assistance and they, they worked through it together. 
And as we were concluding the round, I went up to the coach and I said, you know, that was really cool to see one of the participants really step in, show a lot of confidence and say, hey, let me help you with that. And I'll never forget the coach looked at me and she said, that young lady, just two years ago, she couldn't make eye contact. She wouldn't talk to her peers. Her self-esteem was very, very low. She had no confidence. So to witness what I witnessed and to understand the journey that this participant, this young lady went on as a part of the first T program and curriculum, it was awesome because when, when you saw the finished product, you never would have known that this young person struggled with the things that, that she struggled with. So that, that hit me and that's when I knew, hey, this isn't about golf. This is about developing the youth in our community and, and helping those youth, helping our youth that need the most help. And, and that's what the first T is all about. We use golf as a, a metaphor in a lot of cases for, for that development. But this curriculum, this program, it is making a real, real impact with the young people in our community. So on behalf of the board of directors, I want to ask you for your help so we can continue to help the youth in our community and specifically those that need it most. Thank you. Hello friends, it's Jim Nance of CBS Sports and welcome to this tradition. Unlike any other on Masters Week, I'm not talking about the CBS coverage, although I may use that line, just stay tuned. I'm talking about the extraordinary efforts of everybody involved with the first tee of Cleveland. That is a wonderful tradition unlike any other. Teaching youngsters the core values, the life lessons that come with golf and that come through the first tee. I'm a big believer in it. I've spoken all over the country for first tees, even in Washington uh, at the Capitol. So I salute everyone today that's coming together to make uh, an impact on young lives. I believe in this initiative. And I want to tell you too, I believe in Zach Brule. What a special guy he is, a wonderful friend of mine, enormously talented, as great a chef as you could find anywhere on the planet. I hope he's going to share his uh, Augusta Pimento cheese sandwich recipe. Zach, you're a wonderful friend. All the best to you and your family. And uh, all the best to, to everyone there. Uh, sit back and enjoy the coverage. Uh, we're going to be with you later this afternoon, all weekend on CBS. And again, all the very best for those of you who through golf are making a difference in our community. God bless you all. There's two things at the Masters that are traditions, right? Well, a lot of things, but we know it's pimento cheese sandwiches. And Coach green, Brian? Green jacket. Where'd you get that green jacket? Yeah, so a few weeks ago, I was in Augusta, Georgia. Happened to be walking along, got a little chilly, found a pro shop. Uh, they had a couple of these in a glass case. I thought, well, we'll just grab a green jacket, throw one on, and here we are. You know, together in this partnership, helping us bring more awareness to the impact of the first tees from Mendes. Well, I, I, I've been playing golf since I was four years old. Four years old, all right. And I hate to ruin your image, but my passion's really not good. My passion is gone. There we go. Okay. So, we have yeah, the first I mean, secret yeah, revealed. Yeah, Zach, yeah. have you ever been to the Masters? Yes, I have. I've been there twice. Twice. Tell yeah. us about that experience. Well, I don't think you've ever really been, right, Brian? No, this is admittedly not a okay. green jacket from Augusta. All right. Uh, Augusta is an incredible place. Yeah. And it doesn't, TV doesn't do it justice. Mm -hmm. It is as hilly as it gets. Well, Tell us about pimento cheese sandwiches and well, have you had one at the Masters? The first year I went, I had 15. You had 15 <laughs> pimento cheese sandwiches. Well, my, my, son, uh, my son and I split 15. <laughs> so you spent $30 for 15 sandwiches, if I do my math right, yeah, which I might not. All so. right, whatever. <laughs> so Zach, you know, the, obviously we're here doing a virtual fundraiser for the first time for the first tee of Cleveland. And it's all about teaching people manners, yeah. teaching mm -hmm. people how to treat customers. Early in my career, I thought it was all about the food. It's not. 
it's about the service side of things. Mm -hmm. It's the same as what you're doing for these kids. Golf does that for people. Absolutely. Golf, when you go out and play a round of golf with somebody, you spend four hours, 18 holes of golf, it can show you a whole lot about what that person is like. Sure. So you know, my daughter with me, Ohio Amateur. Wow. And uh, she was touring for a while. She's from Ohio Amateur Camp. Yeah. My, my son went to the States as an individual, and he's a pretty good player on himself. Sure. Good morning, First Tee Cleveland. On behalf of the PJ Tour, I want to thank each and every one of you for the outstanding contributions you make to this great program. At the PGA Tour, the first tee is really at the heart of what we do, and it's individuals like yourselves that make it all possible. You know, we've been working hard on the PGA Tour this year in uh, unequal times to bring things back. I know and hope you've all been enjoying it uh, since we returned to golf on June 8th. It's been a lot of work. It's been a strange year to say the least, but we're really proud to have golf back on television and showing it to our fans. It's been a great year. The uh, television uh, metrics have been up significantly. It shows that people are really enjoying watching golf. And our tournament organizations in each market, which as you know, are charitable entities themselves, are finding a way in this unusual time to cope and make a difference in the communities that we love. So it's been a great year on a wider front. Uh, I'm really pleased to see what's happening in the golf industry. Rounds are up significantly during this unusual time. Uh, the equipment manufacturers are seeing quite a boom in their sales. And so it's an exciting time for golf. Uh, we've known that we're a unique sport in this socially distant world. It's something we can all do and enjoy. And so we need to build on that. So, you know, at the PJ Tour, we're focused on that. We've got a road ahead of us here to keep bringing back more and more of the things we love on tour, trying to bring back spectators in a thoughtful and safe way. We're working on that and you're gonna hear more about it. And really continue to support the thousands of charities in all the markets we go to, that's critical. Just to say something about the First Tee, it's really at the heart of the PGA Tour. Uh, we uh, look at the First Tee as a core program that we wanna support. And uh, <clears throat> at the local level, that is not possible without the support of individuals like yourself. So once again, on behalf of the tour, thank you on behalf of our tournaments, our players. We really appreciate everything you do and uh, certainly hope you enjoy watching here through the end of the year and into 2021. Have a great morning. Hi, this is Sharon Hollis. And Jillian Hollis. I've been playing golf for pretty much my whole life, which is 50 years and my whole life so about 20 years my dad started me in golf and taught me dedication and practice and honesty and care i think it built a lot of character and i hope hopefully i pass that on to my daughter jillian i'm jillian hollis and i'm a rookie on the lpga my mom introduced me to the game of golf she played in college she played at nc state and um taught lessons for a bunch of years and she played professionally on what was the Futures Tour. So just from a young age, I fell in love with the game. I had always wanted to play golf at a Southern school, just being from Ohio and having those snowy winters. I went and visited there and just like stepped onto the campus and stepped onto the golf course and was like, this is home. For like the people who know me, I like to be goofy or silly. I was just practicing on the course and I'm like, I'm gonna work on my trick shots and and I I like putting videos together and doing creative stuff like that. I threw it up there and it got a lot of it got a lot of love. My Twitter handle doesn't have didn't at first have any distinct meaning to it. it I came up with it a bunch of years ago. I really liked the movie. I'd seen it a bunch of times and I like to think of myself as the whale at the end of the movie, jumping over the boy, like I'm jumping over my dreams and <laughs> accomplishing my dreams. I am involved with the First Tee Cleveland and I got, I got started with it last year towards the end of the season. I want golf to be a sport like basketball where you can go to the course and you can find a game and you can go play. Like I think kids should get into golf more. It teaches you great life lessons. It was a great feeling to be able to contribute back and um, 
it, it's something that I, I want to keep doing, continuing and moving forward. It's one of my main goals is to set an example for young kids and to get them involved with the game because I'm so lucky that it was easy for me to fall in love with the game and I want it to be that easy for other kids at a young age to get into golf. Hello, my name is Fred Weed. I'm a proud veteran of the United States Army. I served with the 101st Airborne Division as a combat infantry officer. I went by the name Lieutenant Weed back then, or unless I was in the field, I went by my call sign, Pop Flight 36, or just straight 36. Today, I continue to be a proud veteran serving the youth of Cleveland and the surrounding areas as a volunteer coach at First Tee Cleveland. I'm proud to be part of an organization that dedicates itself to helping youth achieve their potential, make lasting friendships, and best of all, learn to love the game of golf. And now they call me Coach Fred. On behalf of the coaches, I would like to thank you for your continued donations and support and generosity to First Tee Cleveland. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Today, I have the honor of presenting the 2020 Doris A. Evans MD Merit Scholarship Award. Dr. Evans was named the first T of Cleveland's first executive director in 2004, and although retired from that position, she remains an active supporter of the first T of Cleveland, and we are proud to present this award in her honor. This year, the quality of applications were so high, the committee elected to name four finalists and one recipient. The four finalists are Jordan Bates, Catherine Forg, Michael Farrell, and William Brashear. All four of these young people are truly amazing and are leaders in our program, a true example for all of the younger participants to follow. And now, on behalf of the Board of Directors of First Tee Cleveland and the Scholarship Selection Committee, I'm proud to present Anjali Mishra, the 2020 Doris A. Evans MD Merit Scholarship Award winner. Congratulations, Anjali. Please share a few words. Thank you, Coach Brian. I would like to start off by thanking Dr. Evans and the entire scholarship committee for providing me with this amazing honor and wonderful opportunity. I would also like to thank First Tee Cleveland for providing me with such an impactful program, incredible coaches, and long-lasting friendships. Finally, I would like to thank my parents for their never-ending support. If it wasn't for them driving me every Wednesday afternoon and Saturday morning to First Tee, I wouldn't be where I am today. After high school, I planned on, on attending the University of Michigan to study psychology. My ultimate goal is to become a psychologist. Again, I would like to thank Dr. Evans, the Scholarship Committee, First Tee Cleveland, and everyone who continues to support me and this life-changing program. Thank you. essential that it's drained real well. Okay. So if you don't have pimento, you can put in red pepper if you want. Oh. It's the same thing, but you're going to have to grill the red pepper, okay. peel it, pull the seeds out, and then chop it up. And you can find this at your local grocery store? Definitely. Typically? Okay. Definitely. Fold all that together. Okay. So, Cracked black pepper. Is that just to taste or is there yep. a, okay? Yep. Salt. So now you have your base. Okay. Okay. Get some fresh tarragon. Okay. 
pickled jalapenos. Oh, okay. Just a little. Nice. A little lemon juice just to clean it up. This is going to be real rich. Okay. I'm going to fold this all together. Now, will this be spicy at all? If you want it spicy, here you go. Oh, wow. So you got some. You can add some sriracha to this, too, if you want. We're going to make a sandwich. So. And this is the traditional master's way? Yes, it is. Okay. I don't know if they have Wonder Bread down there, but they have something similar to Wonder Bread. All right. Okay. Up here we have Wonder Bread. Okay. So, so this is what I remember them looking like. Okay. I'm gonna put a little more tarragon on mine. Okay. Okay. So I remember they were cut this way, and the one thing I remember about it the most. We came back. They were served in green wrappers. <laughs> okay. You want to set these up yeah. on, on Sunday morning Okay. before the telecast. Get your 15 yeah. and you're ready to roll. So here you go. Good. Can I give it a try? Definitely. Do you want a bite too? Cheers. Cheers. Got a little kick in the end. Nice, but not too spicy. It's very good. Yeah, I can see why you would eat 15 of those. Absolutely. <laughs> very good. I, I like it. Thank you I'm very much. In with yeah. that. Wow. Excellent. Thank you, Zach. And, you, you know, I, I think uh, making a difference for the first year of Cleveland, you, you do it for us every year in so many different ways. This is awesome. But what would you suggest to you know, all of the guests watching, if maybe they don't want to make it. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if they don't want to do that, yes. all you have to do, yep. call Parallax. Call yeah. Parallax. Okay. <laughs> and oh, wow. we'll get you a sushi takeout. <laughs> Very good. So if you've gorged on these <laughs> for the first three days of the Masters, maybe you want to feel a little healthier. That's a great Call option. on Saturday and get a sushi takeout. Very That's good. A, Excellent. Thank you, this Zach, for Thank opening you. your restaurant, opening your hearts, and uh, being creative with the first tea, Cleveland. Um, no, thank you. Thank you for fortunate. what you guys do, because what you guys do makes makes a difference. Part of my life since I was eight years old, the first tee's definitely been the best program that's ever um, I've, I've ever been a part of. I met some really great people, made some lifelong friends, had a lot of fun, and so my advice to your participants would be try to do the same thing: just make great connections with people, have fun, and just enjoy everything you can that the first tee provides. So this summer, I um, I volunteered with some of the lessons that we had on Wednesday evenings, which was really fun. Coach Dorothy and I worked really close together to to make that happen. I also did some lessons out here, um, and we just had a really good time proud alumni of the First Tee of Cleveland. Um, I would say the First Tee has been a very formative experience in my life, not only on the golf course, but also off. A lot of the core values that you learn here not only apply to golf, but they transfer to real life. And for any new participant of the program, I would challenge you to take what you learn here and apply that to your everyday life. been a tremendous experience for both myself as a phys ed teacher and for the students here at Richmond Heights Elementary School. I feel like the kids have gotten out of the program not only improving on their golf skills but also when you talk about the core values that are part of the first T program that has been tremendously valuable to our students. Uh, we love when Coach Brian and some of the other professionals come in and take over one of our gym classes and show our kids what it means to be a golfer, shows them what it means to use the equipment correctly and play safely and try to get them to see the value in the game of golf and as we all know golf is a game that you can play for a lifetime and for many of our students it's the first time they've had an opportunity to be introduced to the game and I'm tremendously thankful for our partnership with First Tee Cleveland. Caddying is a great first job for younger teens as it builds confidence and, of course, their communication skills and a great way to earn some money. Our partnership with the First Tee Cleveland is a beneficial one because they already send us well-trained caddies 
and which is good for our system and it minimizes that first job deer in the headlights look that we often get from those younger teens. Thanks First Tee Cleveland. My golf journey has come full circle. At the age of eight, I joined a program similar to the First Tee of Cleveland called the Greater Cleveland Junior Golf Scholarship Fund. I started golfing just so that I could spend time with my god sisters. But when I began to compete, my parents entered me into local and national tournaments. It was through those experiences that I started to really build character and learned that winning isn't everything. The relationships that I made playing four hours of golf turned complete strangers into my now coworkers and business associates. I had such an amazing time in my junior golf days that when it was time for me to find employment, I didn't hesitate to seek out the first tee right out of grad school. I joined the first tee of Cleveland team in 2008 and I was able to start my first LPGA USGA girls golf program. Being able to impact these young girls lives in a unique and fun way inspired me seven years later to apply for a job with the LPGA in Florida, where I am now the program's manager and run the national LPGA USGA girls golf program. Like I said, my golf journey has truly come full circle. Hello, I'm Tim. Hi, I'm Akisha. We're with Boys Hope Girls Hope of Northeastern Ohio. Our region is so blessed to have so many wonderful organizations serving young people. When two come together in partnership, the results can be remarkable. Boys Hope Girls Hope is very excited to partner with First T for collaborative programming for our youth. We are confident that we will build a relationship that will help our youth develop life skills to take them to success and beyond. Not to mention, the game of golf is a lot of fun. Thanks for supporting First T Cleveland and all the young people this region serves. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Dottie Pepper. And by the time you all watch this video, your dear coach Dorothy and I will have already walked 18 holes at this year's Masters and getting ready for the round, the second round. Uh, she is very special. We all know that at CBS Sports, and we thank you for letting us have her for part of the season as she works behind the scenes to get proper scores and updates to you um, as one of our most valued spotters. But as, as we go through this um, COVID Masters, I thought I'd share my first time at Augusta. And it was back in 1987 as a senior at Furman University. And I didn't have a whole lot of extra money in my pocket to pay for parking, but I thought, hmm, I heard those two pieces from the USGA that, that I had gotten from being the low amateur in the 1984 Women's open at Salem Country Club in Massachusetts and for my Curtis Cup badge year uh, that you can park anywhere at a USGA championship. And I thought, well, if it works for the USGA, why don't I try it at the Masters? And sure enough, I drove up to the gate at Magnolia Lane and they let me in, drove right in and parked in player parking. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It was just outstanding, outstanding day. Watch Larry Mice chip in for birdie at the 11th hole uh, in the playoff to beat Greg Norman. Greg Norman on the sidelines again, no winning at the Masters. And it was just, it was one of those days that I'll never forget. You rem remember just all the great things you're doing by supporting the First Tee of Cleveland. Great, great luck for the future. The main thing that the First Tee has taught me is just improve my confidence, make me be able to go out, use those meet and greet skills to meet a ton of new friends at school. Um, and then in terms of advice for new participants, I just advise you guys to talk to the other participants, make some friendships, make some friends on the golf course, and just have a great time. Honestly, there's, um, <laughs> there's a ton you could say, but uh, you know, the, the relationships of players and coaches, the opportunities at the first tee, and, and the skills that you learn here are invaluable in, in life. Um, and my advice to young participants would be to just take advantage of, of every opportunity and, and be as involved as possible. Being in the first tee, I was able to learn a lot about core values, 
adjusting to diversity and really putting life skills into play when it came to golf and my regular everyday life. The best core value I would say I learned at the first tee would probably be perseverance. Um, it's really taught me how to stay determined and motivated and always push through no matter how I may feel about a situation. And I'm currently applying that to my life now as I'm a pastry chef and I'm living in Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to culinary school and graduated and that's been some of my driving forces to persevere. Um, with all of the history that I have in cooking, I would say that one of the best features in the first tea was our fit to a tea class, which showed us how to bring healthy eating habits into our lives but still keep the flavor involved. Um, Coach K provided a great energy and great environment that I looked forward to every single class because I knew I was going to learn something and still have a good appetite at the end of the day. Um, I think that golf is a great game for youth in general because it teaches patience and strength, skills, technique and so many more thing, qualities that I think a child should have that golf can show you without it just being something that old men play. It's not just an old man's game. It's something that you can start at a young age like me or you can start at a later age and still succeed. Good morning, everybody. Will Doyle, I'm the chair of the Ambassadors Committee of First Tee Cleveland. I'm here with my friends and co-ambassadors, Tina Tamburo and Matt Rico to talk a little bit more about our committee. I will pass it off to Tina to talk about the history of the Ambassadors Committee. Thanks, Will, and thanks everyone for joining this morning. The Ambassadors Committee was formed in 2013, and right now we are a dynamic group of 60 individuals, young professionals of all walks of life from across Cleveland and Northeast Ohio, and we're always looking to actively recruit uh, new, fun folks to join our committee. Thank you, Tina. And Matt, could you uh, let the crowd know what it means to be a member of the Ambassadors Committee? Absolutely. Thank you, Will. Um, I'm also very happy to be part of the organization. Um, our role as ambassadors is, is really to serve as a committee of the board of directors and support the mission of the organization through fundraising activities, community outreach, uh, and volunteer service. During 2020, um, we hosted a summer-long scramble as well as an event at Top Golf, and we look forward to seeing all of you at our events in 2021. So, what I have here, I have a, a yardstick. This is actually 48 inches, so I have this ball eh, about 10 inches from the edge of it. And what you want to do is you want to roll this ball all the way down that yardstick. You don't want it to fall off the sides. If you do that, obviously your ball is online. If it's falling off the edge, there's something wrong with your stroke. Putter faces open, you're aiming incorrectly, etc. So let me try to make a couple of these for you in this little drill. And oh, that was good. That rolled straight down the stick. Try this again. And two down the stick. Great drill for you to use at home during this winter season. You get good at this, you're guaranteed to take some money from your friends come spring. As president of the Third Federal Foundation, I've had the pleasure to get to know so many of the wonderful nonprofits that do incredible work in Cleveland. In Slavic Village, one of our major nonprofits is First Tee Cleveland. They've been a partner in our Slavic Village P16 program since its inception. We've moved the needle on education in our schools in Slavic Village. First Tee Cleveland has taught character through the values of golf and has done amazing work in our schools. The Third Federal Foundation has invested in First Tee Cleveland and we encourage you to do so as well. Of course, my buddy Zach Burrell, he's got to have Jim Nance bring him in and introduce him to the program, right? That's actually pretty cool. I was, I was getting ready to tell you guys about how golf has given me all this opportunity in life. Then I see that and I'm like, maybe I should just learn how to cook better, right? Pretty cool, Zach, thanks for being here today. So I wanna talk a little bit about golf 
and how meeting people through golf has brought so many great things to my life. Golf is a vehicle, right? And it can take you so many different directions. And that's why the First Tee program is so great because it's not just trying to turn these kids into golf professionals or the best golfers they can be. It's giving them a vehicle to meet people and do different things in life. I've been very fortunate in that world that I grew up in Steubenville, Ohio, not exactly Pepper, Twiper, Pepper Pike or Westlake. So um, there was not a lot of opportunity there. Golf, number one, got me out there where I had more opportunity uh, in my life. After I got out of college, I tried to play for a little bit, figured out I couldn't beat guys my age like Phil Mickelson. So I used that vehicle to try to go create other opportunities for me. Now I have uh, four golf shows that are nationally syndicated on Fox Sports. Uh, I have a radio program. I'm, I'm a partner in some golf courses. And different people that I met in my life all took me those places, and they were all through golf, every single opportunity. But the coolest thing for me, I think, is all the great people that I've got to play golf with and become friends with because of this game. So yes, business-wise, golf has helped me because it's taken me in different places. But honestly, it's helped me create some of the best friendships in my life, too. During the show, if you're a Buckeye fan, you know, I've got to play with Archie Griffith, Clark Kellogg, Urban Meyer, I mean, Michael Redd, all those guys, every one of those guys has become friends of mine because I've played golf with them. Indians-wise, Tito Francona has become a great friend of mine. Uh, Jason Kipnis, Rick Manning, play golf with them probably once every two weeks, all become great friends because of the game of golf. I would have never been able to meet all these people without the game of golf, right? And, because, and so that's really what I think of when it says, what has golf done for you? Because it's done so much, right? I mean, my life is golf. I mean, my, it, it, my attire is golf. Everything about me is golf. But it's been able to help me meet and create so many great friendships in this game. It's, it's really, really cool. But I do got to tell you about one guy that I got to meet that you're going to want to hear this, right? So I got to spend probably multiple times with Jack Nicklaus. And if you're from Ohio, Jack Nicklaus is the greatest golfer of all time. I don't want to hear any arguments, all right? One day, I'm doing an event with Jack. I'm doing a thing with Jack, actually a TV thing with Jack. And I said, if I leave here and I'm going to spend three, four, five hours with Jack Nicklaus and I don't ask him a couple golf tips, what, what am I, nuts, right? This is my life. So I asked him a few things. We're sitting there. And the first one I asked him, I said, Jack, you know, I kind of got the chipping yips. The older that I get, the worse it gets. I used to be really good. He goes, Jimmy, I used to be, I was so bad at one point chipping, I was playing around bunkers. First of all, how good does that make you feel, right? And then he gives me a chipping tip of how Jack Grout got him out of it and how he got him really making figure eights with his wedge to be able to hit better chip shots. And believe me, I grabbed that wedge and I was down on that grass three seconds after he walked out the door. Didn't quite work as good for me as it did Jack. The second thing though is a putting tip and I think this will help you guys too. So when Jack sets up over to putter, right, and you watch him, he sets up behind it a little bit and he sets up with his, his head tilted this way. So for me, when I look at the ball this way, I'm going to see a little more out of my right eye. But what it does for me is it actually helps me see my line in front of me a little more. I used to putt, and I used to putt this way where the ball would leave my vision almost as soon as it came off the putter. That caused me to decelerate a little bit. It didn't help me be athletic and accelerate through the putt, right, the way that I want to do it. So again, if you guys have trouble starting the ball online, all I want to see you do is tilt that head a little bit, Maybe look at it a little more out of that back eye so you can see that line in front, and that's going to help you start that ball on line so much better. Great putting tip. I hope it works for you guys. Again, thank you so much for being there. Thanks for supporting the first tee. Golf is such a great vehicle, again, to help these children in so many different ways in life to create relationships, and you're going to be one of them for them. Jack, we know you're involved in so many great organizations and charities, and you have countless choices where to put your time and passion. How and why did you get involved as a trustee of the First Tee? Well, First Tee is uh, something that, you know, junior golf is something I've always been interested in, and kids. And, you know, Barb and I had, a, had a, 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 at the PGA of America, Jack Nicholson, Jack and Barbara Nicholson Endowment Fund for junior golf. And, you know, we put a little bit here and a little bit there, and all of a sudden, when I came along with First Tee and Tim Fincham talked to me, uh, he said, Jack, this is what we're going to do. So I said, now that's the place. So we, 
we took that, that down phone, which was a little over a million dollars, and we put it in. PGA of America matched it. RBS matched it. So, you know, and actually they double matched it. So it was about $4 million we started out with. And, you know, to me, it, it's, it's impacted so many kids' lives. Uh, I've had the, the honor to speak in front of Congress a couple of times about it. Uh, I've, had, I've had some met, met, met a, met a bunch of great kids. It's been something pretty special, and uh, I think First Tee does a great job. Uh, Jack, as you know, the First Tee uses caring adults as coaches and mentors to help young people thrive and build strong character. Who was your mentor growing up, and can you give us a story of the impact your mentor had on your life? Well, I think my biggest mentor was my dad. My dad introduced me to everything, participated with me, everything. He was my best friend. And uh, you know, we were just like two brothers, and uh, uh, you know he had a great impact on my life. And of course, he also had Jack Grout was my my teacher, and and mentor as it relates to playing the game of golf. And Grout was wonderful, and you know I was blessed with two really two guys that really uh, cared about me, loved me, and, and I returned. I loved both of them, and so uh, uh, it was. They, they just you know, they got me doing it the right way. First tee at its foundation is built on nine core values, very strong core values. One of those is perseverance. What advice would you give a first tee participant or anyone today about the value of perseverance and how did you use it throughout your career? Well, perseverance, you just you stay with it. You just gotta, you don't ever give up. You know, it's, 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 it's you know, if you don't make it the first time, you try again. You just, you, you just do it. and. Uh, it is, it is one of the things. I mean, there's many other core values with the first team, but perseverance is a pretty good one. And Jack, the first team of Cleveland is a strong chapter in the first team network. Both sustainability and growth are critical for even greater impact. What would you say to a potential donor that might be unsure of the importance of the program? Is it all about investing in their youth? In the well, <laughs> investing in our youth is pretty important. Uh, and I know that uh, uh, investing in junior golf, it takes there's so many thing, good things that, that the first team does. It takes kids off the street, teaches them um, skill, life skills. It teaches them, uh, you know, how to get along with others, how to uh, how to be self-reliant. There's so many things that first team does. And so, you know, to tell somebody, you know, I went through the same thing a lot of people are doing. I went around and looked at a lot of places where to put but money to best help kids. First tee was the best. Wow, I certainly hope you, we were worthy of your time this morning and that you were able to see the impact of the first tee and golf through so many awesome lenses. What an all-star lineup we were so fortunate to have. I wanna thank each and every one that contributed. I wanna thank our co-chairs, Heather Polly Schmidt, Andrea Ward, Ann Lang. I also want to thank our sponsors, CBA Partners, Lincoln Electric, Sherwin-Williams, CIBC, Cleveland State University, Cuyahoga Community College, Deloitte, Ernst & Young, First Energy, Jones Day, Merry Meeting, Nordson, PwC, Swagelock, Jerry Sue and Walter Thornton, Adam and Claire Zangerly, and all of you for making a difference. I hope you have a fabulous master's weekend and maybe you can make Zach's famous pimento cheese sandwich, or maybe you're raking leaves, whatever it is. I hope you stay safe, you be well, and that you keep First Tee at Cleveland top of mind. We really appreciate your support. We need your continued support. We'd love you to get to know about us even more. Call us, write us, stop in. Um, we just, we miss seeing everybody, but we really appreciate your help in helping and making an impact for the kids in our community. Have a fabulous weekend. We are Game Changers!